Holy shnikey, that took a while. <clears throat> but, uh... Let's get this rolling. Alright, you will see that my HP is now a little bit higher than it was. Uh, Richard's HP is about triple what it was. Uh, in the in the process of that, I actually went back to Palamecia, to the Colosseum, to see if I could try to fish for a wizard, but I never got one to appear, and it was getting to the point where I just didn't want to fucking keep grinding it, because I looked, found a better way to uh, <coughs> hunt the fuckers down, and it's not going to be able to be done until afterward for this dungeon. But now we have Hero Level 12, Holy Level 8. Uh, <clears throat> the rest of my magic really hasn't changed, but I do have uh, Richard with Swap Level 4, which is why his MP is so high, because I use the same strategy to get him up. So, without further ado... Oh, we actually have to reuse the Crystal Rod. The general idea of this is it is two floors of an element followed by a boss, which is a uh, giant of the element. Fire, then ice, then electricity. And really, it's pretty simple. Uh, you, you could argue that the treasure in these floors are used to get Ricard geared up a little bit. But when you break the game like I did, you know, he's already got the best equipment in the fucking game. There's no way to get him better. You know, aside from, <clears throat> you know, looking into a stat boost. Well, I'm just using an antidote. Fucking, I'm carrying enough of the fuckers. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be going after all the treasure because you know, encounter rates are a little crazy. But, um, typically speaking, you know, you'll be seeing, you know, not just floors with a certain elemental theme, but all the enemies will follow suit, all the equipment given from the treasure chests. It's a very black magic oriented dungeon, if you really want to think about it. Confuse 16, I don't think that's going to hit anyone but Rickard. If it can, because... My lowest resistance that's not, you know, well, the lowest resistance of the main three is 70% on a level eight, and Ricard has 50% level four. So it's kind of hard to hit him. Oh, speaking of, oh, 99. Yeah, his... Yeah, Fearing is basically immune to status magic. Maria's pretty damn close. 95, though. 85 level 3, excuse me. Still pretty damn high, if you ask me. But yeah, my magic defense is fucking insane.
I'm gonna try to not talk so much during the adventuring around because I really do like the music in this dungeon. Probably one of the best songs in the game. Well, best environment song. I would still have to say that uh, Boss B, the one that we heard during the Lamia Queen fight, is pretty fucking top notch. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, wow. Soon actually got off. higher than guys. The fact that Guy has the lowest HP of the trio is fucking hilarious to me. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. They're, uh... They're bassy. That might. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of silly. Oh, I already don't like this fight, but at least the revenants are in the back row. But the specter still hits like a fucking truck. I actually think the revenant might be the weakest of those fucking zombies. Really? How did the big one get this high? By which I mean floor two of the fucking tower. Flying Ray, maybe I can excuse because, you know, it's in the name. It's basically fucking Land Mantine. been wrong about the thematic enemies. <clears throat> Shame the Warebuster I got in Finn off camera, because I was uh, spoiling for treasures. Trying to find a treasure room, because uh, Trap was talking about that, and didn't see one. It's okay, we can go to the Arcane Labyrinth and, um, <clears throat> force, uh, an encounter. Well, a higher encounter rate with the wizards, which will probably enable us to get a decent amount of... <clears throat> I'm hoping for Osmos Tomes, but if I can get a Flare Tome too, that'd be great. Here's the fire thematic. And basilisks. And I actually still think it's hilarious that the HP of Maria and Guy is under normal circumstances the reverse of a normal run. Just, uh, for some reason, Maria is just the attack magnet this time. As shown from the fucking sheer amount of shit smacking her in the face. Oh, that's cute. 
Shame I'm not even gonna target you. I think I'm just wasting time with, uh... Holy and fire. Because Toad's gonna kill these guys. If it doesn't, I'll be surprised. Oh! Two of them did survive. How about that? <clears throat> I think they resist fire. And I just got to thinking, if Ricard does get hit with confusion... Assuming the other three don't block his attacks, they are going to take heavy damage. Not risk of death heavy damage, but still enough to be painful. And assuming he does the same amount of damage that he does to an enemy, that's about half of their HP. Again, assuming they don't block it. Are you kidding me? This formation really likes doing the uh, top center with a fucking blink. Again, I'm pretty sure under normal circumstances, Confused 16 would be just traumatic. Because my magic defense is way, way fucking higher than it should be. <laughs> huh. He didn't even opt to go after the one that's got a lot of... They have Poison Touch? I'm gonna need magic to kill him, aren't I? I have reason to believe I do. The imp is doing to me what I did to the captains in Imperial Finn. Don't have much HP at all, do they? Huh, cool. Good progress, but you must defeat me if you wish to continue your ascent. I just want to sit and listen to this for a bit. Love this theme. Ricard didn't even take damage. That was just his natural fucking level up. Ow! Charm 6 shouldn't do anything.
<laughs> Go figure. I really don't think you can shield block a fucking blood strike. Oh, yeah, that's right. This. The ice floors are where things start getting weird. Fuck you and your 1600 fucking damage, cunts! Three fucking hits, and Virion's already almost fucking dead. He was almost full HP. Oh, the zombies are dead bad in this game. They're fucking awful. Damn, Skippy Furion's HP went up. God damn. Shouldn't have cost me that much fucking MP to get my my HP back. It's fucking ridiculous. Sure, go ahead and waste your turn. Ice gloves, wow. I'm gonna regret that, aren't I? Yes, I will. Never mind. Critical hits. There's an ice helm here somewhere. There's a nice sword. <clears throat> oh, hey, Hildegas. That's cute. It thinks it's people.
Discagus actually managed to do damage. Not much damage, but... There you go. Why am I not surprised Maria's HP keeps going up? Wait, this is poison themed. This isn't electricity. And of course it's gotta have a fucking set of revenants up front. Fucking A. Holy suck. You can't tell me it's because that zombies aren't weak to it. Because if they weren't weak to it, then Cure wouldn't do anything to them. Well, Cure would heal them. Furious magic defense is now 9. When did guys go up? Yeah, I think the uh, poison is accurate because there's a lot of zombies on this floor. And what would cause death? Well, impurity. Well, what would cause undeath? Impurity. A thousand HP, and that's critical. Red critical. Of course, her fuck. Oh. What is her fucking stem? 62. Why? That was a bait and switch for you. Spider silk. I somehow didn't realize I actually issued my commands. Probably because for some undiscernible reason, enemies are still attacking before me. What are my agility stats? 26, 14, 22, 20. Okay. These have to be enemies with like 30 and beyond for fucking agility stats if they're rolling that fucking high. Damn it.
why these fights take so long is because my party's just so fucking slow. I don't know, if I had to give a trope to this party, it is very much Mighty Glaciers. Ooh, Devil's Boss. New enemy. Venom and Confuse, huh? <laughs> well, there you go. Oh. And they're sturdy. Finally, an enemy that I'm not killing in one hit. Unless it's, uh, Ricard. Huh. But, yeah. Two fucking broken swords. I'm almost guaranteed an HP up from a fight like this. And Bush by Zombies, oh, they're guaranteed to do fucking 10% fucking damage to you per hit. Thunder. Six hundred damage. That thing almost survived a round, Okay. Oh. 
They actually resist all three. Never mind. How there are two Gotos, I have no idea. Lovely. Wait, that's what you do on your last turn of life? Measly little swipe with the claws? Marlboro Terra! Oh boy. Could have been scary. Wasn't. Things only have like 3000 HP. Not even. This is the end of the tower. Once I find a path forward, which I did. And hey, it's Minwu. I've been waiting for you, Fury. Though I've managed to reach the seal, the magic binding appears to be extremely strong. I will concentrate my every bit of power on the door. If it is enough, the, shield, the seal shall shatter. Everyone stand back. Oh, swap's broken. <laughs> Do not grieve. This 
This was my destiny. Manuel. I bestow upon me the power of a burning flame. Now, if, what you have to do is you should take these blue crystals first. Swiftness of the gust of the wind. Who got that? Of course, Ricard did. That's intelligence probably went to Maria? No. <laughs> it went to Guy. Uh, Scott. Joseph. Minwoo. Of party members. Well, Scott isn't a party member until Soul of Rebirth, but... Uh... Shit. How many nameless NPCs have died? Alright, Fearing got the spirit boost. I bestow upon thee the ultimate magic. You obtained the ultimate helm. And you might think it's black magic. It's it's actually white magic. Which is why I tell it the Fury. Wait, we got new enemies. Yep, the Missing Tower is the turning point where all of the enemies on the world map become more difficult. All of the sea-based enemies are the Leviathan counter chart. So, everywhere in the ocean. Yes, spirit is white magic. Uh, intelligence is black magic. Uh, magic is uh, just your um, how much your MP increases every level. Huh. I didn't know that was a draw. What? Hey, what's what's going what happened to Altair? It, it's destroyed. And, oh, sergeants and sorcerers in the place of our ankle-biting goblins and leg-eaters. You thought I was kidding when I said everything was higher level, right? I assure you, I was serious. Actually, I don't even know why I'm using Holy anymore. Oh yeah, Osmos is a great spell. It's just uh, kind of hard to get your hands on. 
Well, let's test Ultima out since uh, Furion's got decent proficiency in everything. That's disappointing. Cause that's with thirteen, eight, three, five, six, eight, five, one, one, one in itself. With a level eight sword, level eight shield, level nine magic defense, level eight defense evasion. And of course, all these enemies have to use the fucking skills that had the longest fucking animations. Why did I do that? And hey, there you are, Trap, only 45 minutes late. But yeah, Ultima starts out a little shitty, but it's very quadratic. And mostly based on, like I said, your spirit and your... Um, and your other proficiencies. So if you've got all your other spell slots to level 16, uh, at level 1 it does like 3,000 spread damage. And Catry is gone too. And what the fuck is that? That was a puny ultimate. That's okay. It grows. I think we need to use the wyvern to get in there. <clears throat> but we're basically to the point where we can get the blood sword, but I can't exactly remember what we have to do to trigger that. And Paloom is gone. Though. Miraculously, the uh, ship is still there. I don't remember the ultimate variations from 6. Haste, aura, death, and drain. Hmm. But yep, Polum is gone, and we can't access the ship. Thank you. 
think so he's gonna hurt me with death. <sighs> Something interesting to note. The bow is actually classified as magic. So when it's saying bow 3, it's saying bow spell level 3 and it costs them 3 MP to use it. you can tell that Ultima's white magic is, uh, well, the white ring. Like, fire has the green, because it's a black magic spell. More magic that I'm never gonna use. These enemies are just obnoxious. See what that does now. I should do about seventy damage per target. Sure, every motherfucker casts a spell. Why not? All right, I guess it didn't. shouldn't do anything. Yeah. I think the ultimate tone casts it at level 10. But, like every other tome in the game, you cast it from the tome as an item, and goodbye item. Yep, big horns have come north. I think we're going to see Poft is destroyed. And the most common enemy group goes to Sergeant Sorcerer. shit magic that I don't care about. Yep, Puff is gone. And we can't take the airship yet.
I could, but... It's expensive. Not that money is really an uh, object at this point in the game. Well, the thing is, if I tell Firion to cast Ultima and then Guy to use Toad, there's no guarantee that the Ultima is going to cast first. mithril gears that are worthless. Oh, hey, Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Taste steel. Toad Tomes. What are you talking about? I was killing them, like, really early in the fucking game, dude. They're the source of how I was able to get to Missidia. And why did I cast Swap on the captain? It's probably gonna miss anyway. These parties full of fucking spellcasters. Best Toad 16 with an intelligence of 67. Sixteen. Spellers cost their level. Yeah, when your MP is at a thousand, it's not bad. But if your MP is, you know, where it's supposed to be, you know, low 200 to maybe, well, high 100 to low 200, I should say. Yeah, that's pretty pricey. Of course, if you fucking sit and, you know, let the parasites eat you for a while, then your MP will just... Yes, I did just yawn. I'm tired. Of course I didn't kill half. Well, I killed five of them, so... I guess it is technically half. Ultima 3! 
Now I'm getting toad tomes out the fucking ears. When you only need one. Hell, you don't even need that. Wizards can drop Flare and Osmos as their two most important spells. I'm not gonna be worried until his HP drops to like 150. Because if you notice, everyone else is begging for a heal too. <laughs> Missing no fewer than 2000 HP each. It just so happens that Ricard has 2000 HP. Here we are back at the ruins of Palum. Yeah, it almost feels like my party's feeling generous to these enemies. It's like, oh, these are this is the last time they this is the last turn they have to live. I deliberately stopped grinding. I took him to like 1400 and then, uh, stopped. Though I think I, st I, think I started the session with, uh, being at like 1550 or something. I don't know, I don't remember. But I did most of the grinding right, out right, side, of right outside of Finn here. you should mention that. Who else remembers the mirror chamber? Thank you. No, I didn't. It'll be okay, though. Nah, Flammy is more of a, um, a Drake.
Ribbon and Dragoon are together once more. Alright, now that we've done that. No, it was um, the Dragoon's Pendant allowing you to um, look at the uh, Wyvern. Or the state of the egg, as it were. Let me just not notice that. But I don't know how to get to that. It's probably through... There we go. A pair of unnecessary giant's gloves. There's a way to get to that, but I don't know how. The last wither. Now you might be thinking, how do we get into the uh, cyclone? Easy. Now that we have the wyvern, we just walk into it. I really should teach Flare to guy. He got our intelligence boost. Which still begs the question who should teach Osmos to? He's not a black mage, though. He's got the lowest intelligence on the team. Even lower than Ricard. So teaching him Flair doesn't do me any good. Really, my choice is only boil down to Maria and Guy. And since, even though Black Osmos is a black magic spell, it's still worth teaching to Furion at some point if I can get my hands on another tome. Just because, you know, casting Osmos 1 spread across the, an enemy spell... A group of enemy spellcasters still gives me enough MP to um, keep casting. Cyclone, floor one. I think that's one of the dead end paths. Big horns in here. Got one hell of a menagerie there, uh, Emperor Palmesia. Holy shit.
Oh hey, guy finally broke 5,000 HP. Was it specifically Emperor Pelamesia or one of the other emperors from the Final Fantasy mythos? Wood Golem. I. Sleep strike. What? Oh, hey, Lamia. Which is weird because reptile with boobs. Fucking cavalry, I have no idea. Diamond armor. With the general. These fuckers hit like a truck. Trucks that can punch through fucking Genji gear. Huh! Now what we're missing is the diamond glove. <laughs> this is the first time we've seen generals this entire game. Pretty sure, at least. If I check the best area, it should only say two. Yeah. more of a proof of concept saying I can't kill them now, but give me a little bit. Really, don't really need it. That's why I still haven't taught Flare to Guy yet. There's no point. It's a brand new spell starting at 
uh, shit level. Stack the fact that uh, Ultima is only powerful if everything else on that character's roster is powerful. Oh, hi, Green Dragon. Still going to do a hell of a lot more damage with physical than it will with its actual weakness of electricity. Yeah, boss music. Took a lap around that for nothing. Oh, isn't that nice? The unresponsive script from Facebook, well, not Facebook, but Firefox, was uh, my stream replay. Weird. Hey, wizards! Well, I'm actually hoping for Maria to get a uh, MP level. More than anything. Oh, fire level. That's cute. Granted, that's higher than my fire level, but... Magic is useless. At this point. Rain Tome. Oh, hey. We're done. So, you revived the Wivens and now, here you are. Yet you are mere insects, unworthy of even being crushed under my foot. Yep, already. Funny, the Royal Guard were normal trash mobs here. Oh no, this is a final boss time. Fuck no. Still another good two chapters left in the game. Poison Axe is decent. So, you have some ability after all. Let's see how you manage against this. This is a smaller group than last time, dickhead. We're gonna just tear ass through these guys. Moron. Quite extraordinary. But it would appear I've sorely underestimated you. You should consider what I'm about to do a great honor. I shall kill you personally.
Yeah, I'm gonna kill the ads first. Three attacks is all it took to kill him. And a stun tome. Whoop the fucking genius. No! I will not die! Guess what, bitch? You just did. It's over. We should get back to Finn. They'll be waiting. This is not over yet. Through your efforts, we finally defeated the Emperor. Thank you. The world was bound in darkness, but now the light of peace shines once more. Period. Guy. Maria Ricard. What more could we ask of you? The tales of your bravery will be handed down for generations. Now, let us celebrate. Many have <clears throat> come hoping to catch a glimpse of the heroes who brought down the Emperor. I wouldn't want to disappoint them. Note how each pair is man on the left, woman on the right, except for Hilda and Gordon. Guess that goes to show you how much of a fucking pansy-ass Gordon is. Ho ho! <laughs> my ladies, my lords. The Dark Knight Leon has declared himself Emperor. He's reorganized the Palmecian Empire. He'll send troops. He'll... He'll... Slaughter us all. Ugh. That was a terrible delivery on my part. It can't be. Leon. And we come from... The stairs for reasons. Leon, the Dark Knight. But I thought he was your friend. Your brother. I'll go to him. I'll make sure I'll make him understand. He must be acting under the spell of the Emperor. I know it. If he's ascended the Emperor's throne, there's only one place he could be. Palamecia. Castle Palmecia is a fortress situated high in the mountains. It cannot be approached on foot. Which is why we gotta go to our dying buddy Sid. And dying he is. And I believe he's in Paul's house now. Yep. The cyclone really did a number on the back of Paloma. Oh, my body isn't taking too kindly to the idea of moving around. Is it okay? I'm a mess is what I am. But my airship made it through without a scratch. I want to lend it to you. That's a lend, you hear? I'll be wanting her back. You take good care of her. Sid? Sid, no! Hold on! Maybe I gotta talk to Paul now? That was Sid's dying wish, you know. He knew he was dying. He was ready. He planned on giving you the airship when his time came. He loved that ship with all his heart. He trusted it to you. Think about that. The time I snuck into the castle, I used to collect the land on the roof. The only way is in the only way in is from the sky. The sky! 
there was ever a time to use Sid's final gift to you. This is it. You gotta say this is it, wouldn't you? He really is. There is a way to get in there. I fucking forget how, and that is where the blood sword is. And for some reason, I'm fucking stupid, and I can never remember how to get into it. <laughs> Go Gogol's funny, though. Giants? Oh, that's right, there was a Gigas in there. It's over. Oh, yeah, so I've missed it. Because he doesn't react to the cyclone anymore. I haven't asked him. Yeah, you just missed me kicking the Emperor's ass. But, uh, we're not done. We are not done at all. Gold Quiris, two Toad Tomes, an Aura, and a Mithra Helmet Armor. Well, they're lethal to begin with, it's just, uh, they're accurate now. If I wanted to go get some Osmos Tomes, I could probably go grinding in the uh, Cyclone Room of the Arcane Labyrinth, but I don't know if you guys want to watch me grinding on stream anymore, at least with this game. And quite frankly, I can't say I blame you, because I've been doing a lot of that in this game. My roommate was uh, talking to me about wanting to do a co-op of um, Borderlands on our collective stream. Probably do my side from my stream and his side on his. Though I'm not sure how we'd be able to do that. I don't know if we can still do land play with that game. Because I know online is definitely off because... Game Spy is gone. But we'll cross that bridge when we uh, figure it out. Guy's magic resistance is level 10. Oh, so is Maria's. Oh, it did? Oh, okay. I didn't realize they'd uh, fix that up. Oh, 
Um, I only have the PS2 version of... PS2, the PS3 version of uh, Borderlands 2, so I can't really help you there. I just wanted to show that Buffsk is still alive, and Salamand is as well, just like Hilda said. Whoops. Right now, I really can't afford to be buying a bunch of games. Especially if I'm trying to commission some art to be done. Now, if you're playing on PS4, then I really don't think we can help you. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use a cottage. And then we gotta figure out where we can land. Because it's very, um, specific. Oh, huh, there we go. Castle Palmesia 4-7. And now the general is a regular trash mob. Let that sink in for a bit. You know, I actually have Borderlands 2 on PS3 and the pre-sequel on stream, on, on Steam, but uh, the only one I've actually played of the Borderlands series is the first one. And I really only ever played as Mordecai, so... Can't really speak for the other characters. Gonna have to... Wow, guy didn't get a fucking HP level from that? He got his ass ripped off and handed back to him. Oh boy. Oh yeah, it was pretty boring at the start. I don't want to give these vampire girls a chance to attack me. And how did I not notice that Ultima leveled up to four? Amoeba. The green heck dies. Which heck dies does exist in this game. It's uh, specifically on the Jade Passage, I believe. Um, I forget what I have to do here. Couldn't walk through the wall near we, where we started. Yeah, he's talking about uh, the uh, grenade mod item. My favorite grenade mods from uh, Borderlands 1 was the, uh, I think it was called the Nurse or something. 
It was the one that exploded and then uh, damage dealt was uh, recovered. I heard Tiny Tina was fucking obnoxious. Why can I not remember what I have to do here? <laughs> Bosses are running away from me now. <laughs> That's hilarious. Gotos fucking ran from me. That's hilarious. Okay. The one panel I didn't step on. Toad 10. Isn't gonna do jack shit for you, buddy. Probably plays Final Fantasy XIV on PS4. Actually, I'm pretty sure she does. Gotta love multi platform uh, MMOs, huh? And the funny thing is, unlike Elder Scrolls Online, Final Fantasy XIV actually is multi platform. Because PC and uh, PlayStation players can intermingle, you know, because they use the same data centers. Whereas, my brother playing ESO on Xbox One, and say if I were to get it on PC, we wouldn't be able to play together. Which is fucking hilarious if you ask me, because, you know, Microsoft is the PC platform. That was a focused stun 16, and Furion shrugged it off. That's 99% check on nine different levels check for you. Should probably heal. Probably. But, eh. I think I might just wait till a guy starts getting critically low. Which probably isn't going to happen if we don't find any more vampires. Can't find a PC that you like, build your own. <laughs> Frankly. Oh, hey! Black Knights! The thing that killed us at the beginning of the game. And we're gonna kill them right back! Sunblade. It's actually a decent sword. Oh, 
up, Grotus grew some balls. Kind of sad that it's taking until the penultimate dungeon. Well, I can't even say this is the penultimate dungeon because Jade Passage is technically uh, separate of Pandemonium. I love how my chat has turned into Borderlands. Godos is strength in numbers. Hopefully some of my ankle pain is going to be uh, mitigated because I just bought a new pair of shoes yesterday. Three Godos. Wait for you, Godos. Say goodnight. Buckler. Are you fucking kidding me? There's Furion's uh, Magic Defense 10. You would think an enemy like Gotos would be unique. But he's not. <laughs> it's still hilarious to me every time the fuckers run. I even think the Emperor, at 
at the end of this at the end of the game isn't even gonna survive more than one turn. Might survive into a second. But it's like I think the enemies are given so much fucking agility. Just as a way to say, okay, you're not totally wasting your time, except yes you are with all these fucking spell animations. Stun 16 must have hit him. I think Maria might end up pushing 7,000 HP by the time we end the game. Just call it a hunch. is the only one that remembers she has a fucking shield. suck. My other magic does more fucking damage. Yes, I know Ultima's only level 4, but it should have more influence from my other fucking skill levels. Oh, I actually need to heal now. Should be getting close to the end. Yeah, this is it. Ambushed by enemies that are going to try to hurt us, but they can't.
sure do love these long ass spell animations. I expected you'd come, Fairy. Do you really think you can kill me? Weak words from the weak. Do you know what rules the world? Power. Sheer power. The Imperial Throne is mine. The weak cannot survive without the strongest control them. How many lives did the rebels throw away when they chose to oppose the Empire? Oh shit! Delusions of grandeur do not become you, Leon. Though I find the thought of you as Emperor quite deliciously absurd, it ends now. This world can have but one Emperor, and I am he. You're alive? What are you? Not that it matters. The Empire is mine now. I have no intention of handing it over. The Empire? Ha! 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 I have no need for such trifles now. All the world shall fall by my hand, and the powers I have gained in hell. And your blood will be the first spit. Call the wyvern. You can use it to escape. Picard, what are you doing? You may have a little trouble spilling the blood of Ricard Highwind, the last of the dragoons. Pathetic insect. I will enjoy making you rue those words. May the spears of the dragoons lend me their strength. Why would I do that? I told you on Steam. I'm sending him to Soul of Rebirth with the equipment. I did that on purpose. Why would I fuck myself over like that? The Dark Knight. You best start explaining. The Emperor's risen from hell. Ricard. Ricard died so we can escape. Yosef, Min, Sid, Ricard. All dead. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Though the Emperor lives, more will die. We. Princess, let Leon join us, please. The Dark Knight? A rebel? Hmm. I'll leave the decision to you. Leon, let's fight the Emperor together, please. Maria, fear you. As you can see, he is 1100 HP, 5 MP, level, well, let's just say the next one, because he's on the fucking cusp of it. He does have a level 10 axe, which is crazy. Well, I actually think it, they talked about how he was brainwashed. So, there's a thing. Um, 
Really, there's no point in giving him anything else. I mean, yeah, I can double his defense by giving him Genji gear. But... Fuck it. I really don't feel like playing the uh, frog game anymore. Let's just move that a little bit closer. Should... Yeah. <laughs> Less than 500 for a night at the end. Fuck it, why not? And I know I could go farm for some Osmos Tomes, but... Uh... There's no real point to it, really. Just need to remember where the item shop is in this town. So I'm just gonna buy a couple of elixirs instead. Hmm. Still didn't put a dent in me. I mean, yeah, it cost me a pretty penny, but I still have money to spare. So what we're gonna do now is head south to Sidia. And head on over here. And as we can see, we've got this. The Jade Passage. Welcome back, Silver. We are on our way to the final dungeon. Of course. We didn't attack the same one. Oh! That's lovely. They have bad breath. Strike! And Leon's dead! Exactly as useful as uh, he is in his current state. And frankly, what? Uh, he sacrificed himself to survive, to, uh, let the party escape. Which, uh, puts him in the roster for post-game. Oh, hey! Oh, wow. Ice Storm actually did some fucking damage. Yeah, that's a dead end door. Glad the party has good magic defense. Uh, except the Sinian survived. Ricard is definitely dead. <laughs> Though I will say one thing about Leon. He's at least competent with his weapons. Antarctic Wind. Wow. Shitty item. Which 
Wait, what am I doing? These things are weak to light. And I'm further ahead to just physically attack them. Well, single target them, at the very least. If there's one cool thing about Ultima is its animation is pretty badass. See you, Leon! I might as well just fucking leave him dead. Because, like I said, he's exactly as useful as he's gonna be. I mean, yeah, this is gonna give him some fucking HP, but he just doesn't have the defensive power. The diamond set, which is the best gear that, you know... Well, the, the best gear that's not the fucking... Wow! It's not the Genji gear. It did less damage on a critical hit! What the fuck? That was a waste of two fucking gear 13s. Poison the poison axe has a secondary effect that is useless. Nothing survives long enough to take the poison damage. I don't think there's a way to get another rune axe. Ah, this room right here gives us access to a hidden shop at the bottom of the uh, waterfalls. Cyclone 13. Wind magic that we don't actually ever get access to, aside from the wind food. Step up your game, Leon. Can't even kill a fucking Malbro Terra. Great Malbro, excuse me.
Blaze 16. Guy has the lowest HP of the party members that matter. Still find that hard to believe. Oh, hey! Poison doesn't even do any fucking damage. I didn't even get to break in the new fucking axe. Yeah, there's another twist headband. God, Leon, you suck. If you walk into the waterfall here, you'll see that we stop. If we investigate here, death, berserk, haste, and flare. It's pretty useless to buy the flare tome at this point. Because there's just no fucking point to it. But that's a thing you can do. Love this 30 second long and fucking animation. Yes, I know I'm being hyperbolic, but when it still stands, that animation is way too fucking long. the third one. Fucking A. Leon. Totally worth having in the party.
Great Marlboro is the biggest threat in this group. Unless we're talking about the time, because it's a full five fucking second animation. Sure, I do love these high potions. Ooh, protector is nice. If I didn't already have better fucking. Oh, hey, an elixir. I hope not. One more round three. And going back to something that you asked about ten minutes ago, they're trapped by a better axe. No, the rune axe is the best axe in the game. For what that's not worth. God damn it! Yes, I realize he'd have more survivability if I'd have gotten him a fucking set of Genji gear, but fuck that noise. I want to finish the game tonight. At least the main game. He's gonna barely survive that. No, he's not! Really just want to leave his ass dead. how I'm spending so much mana on cure and nothing but I don't think the Mega Parasite's going to do physically attack, and even if it does, I don't think it does mana drain. No. I was able to block with the shield. That is 
Prince Jade Passage done. This is the castle of hell. Pandemonium. <laughs> what? Two thousand damage from the Death Rider. Lightning, I think. Yeah. I think that's what we're gonna do, but oh no, more than I thought. I was gonna say 700. Ultima 5. He says. <laughs> Marie is the only one that's gonna fucking get out of this fight. If she gets out of this fight. Nope, that's game. O oh, that's game over. Oh, that's game over. I haven't saved in a while. Fuck! Oh! <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. No. I am not redeploying this entire fucking session. <laughs> yeah. Death Riders do 50% damage. Yeah. Uh, I'm not finishing this tonight then. So uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow. Because that was bullshit. So I guess, yeah, we will see Oleon with some fucking Genji gear. Because god damn it. Oh boy. But, yeah, since I'm calling it there, let's uh, return the favor of Isaac's post from yesterday.
with hosting him. So that'll do it for me. I'm gonna grind my way back up there. I will go. I will get back to Castle Palomisia and save. So at any rate, this is Trell signing out. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.